Hi guys, I'm just making this quick video because uh, I literally just got off the phone with a customer uh, discussing how we want to uh, block access to their personal webmail accounts, meaning make it so that users on the network can't get to like their webmail.aol.com or Gmail or Yahoo email, their personal email accounts from work computers because of the large threat of crypto locker and other types of scams that can come through there and, you know, potentially cause serious damage to a network. Well, in this case, literally moments, uh, or actually the email actually came in while I was on the phone with the customer, uh, where I was telling them about, you know, a lot of these say they're coming from FedEx. If you look right here, we literally just got this email. Uh, and the scary part is this went through some fairly rigorous uh, anti-spam, antivirus, anti-phishing solutions. And because it's a low-level targeted at attack in most cases, it was able to make it through with about a medium score of 50. Um, but if you look here, it says it's FedEx support New Mexico. It looks pretty legit. It's got a FedEx low logo and label uh man it's got our name so this is phishing they came after us directly uh please pick up your parcel from your nearest fedex store location and they got our address so this was a targeted or what i would call spear phishing uh and there's a link here here's your tracking number and if you see right here it's an https it, they've even tried to fool us by making an https colon so it's a ssl certificate site uh, we haven't examined it yet in our sandbox, but it, they've registered the URL of HTTPS link.com and then review FedEx. So this is a, a really scary email, but indicative of uh, what can happen to a user and how they could be fooled. So you really need to <clears throat> use your head when you're getting emails. Almost every one, it looks really legit. Uh, most of your users are not going to understand what a targeted attack or spear phishing actually is. This is where they research your company and try to get you specifically not casting a wide net as in most phishing type scams. Um, in this case, what I did to figure that out is I just highlighted the hyperlink. And right there, it'll it'll pop up in the window right there what the hyperlink actually reveals and that is not fedex.com so uh guys use your head all right thanks